What's up everybody? Hope you guys are doing well. So I'm making a video after a very long time. As you guys know that the May June exams got cancelled. And uh, at that point I decided to take a break and not post so much content regularly. So I have uh, finally decided to resume and I'll be posting content regularly inshallah from now on. I put up a post on my Instagram where I asked you guys what is the what content should I be making on, what topic rather should I be making content on and most of you said mensuration. So I thought why not start with the past paper of mensuration. So this is from October November 2020 uh, which means this is from the last past paper. Yeah, last past paper that students actually attempted. Okay, so here's a question and it's, uh, it's a fairly difficult question. I'm not gonna say it's too easy, but it's not too difficult either. Yeah, okay, so I think it, it ranks somewhere in the middle. So here we have a solid formed by joining a cylinder to a hemisphere. The diameter of the cylinder is nine centimeter and its height is 16 centimeter, all right? The volume of the hemisphere is equal to the volume of the cylinder. Okay, so this I think is important that the volume of the hemisphere is equal to the volume of the cylinder. Okay, and as you know, there are some shapes of which you can you can pull out the syllabus guide, the official syllabus guide of Cambridge, and you'll notice that there are some shapes of which you will be given the formula. So you don't actually have to memorize those. Okay, so the volume of the hemisphere is equal to the volume of the cylinder. How do you calculate the volume of the hemisphere? Well, we have the formula for calculating the volume of sphere, which is 4 over 3 pi r cube. Hemisphere basically means half of a sphere, so that's going to be equal to 2 upon 3 pi r cubed. Now, this is equal to the volume of the cylinder, so that means this is going to be equal to pi r square h, since that's what the formula for calculating volume of cylinder is. Now, be careful here, they don't have the same uh, radii, radii is the plural of radius, so instead of writing it as lowercase r, I'm going to write it as capital R because you can see that the radius of the hemisphere is going to be larger than the radius of the cylinder. Okay, now, so this is the equation that we're going to use in order to show that the radius of the hemisphere is indeed equal to 7.86 centimeter. Alright, so let's get to work. The radius of the cylinder is going to be 4.5 centimeter. You can see that the diameter is 9, so don't fall for that trap. The radius is going to be half of 9, so that means it's going to be 4.5, right? So pi into 4.5 squared times the height. Height of the cylinder is equal to 16, all right? So this is equal to 2 upon 3 pi r cube. Now, at this point, let's see if there's something that we can cancel. Uh, and we can cancel pi from both sides, okay? So at this point, r cube is basically equal to 4.5 times square times 16 times 3 since 3 is going to get multiplied and then you're going to divide the entire value by 2 before you take the cube root of it. So that's exactly what I'm going to do in my calculator now. So let's switch to regular mode. Yep, 4.5 squared times 16 times 3 divide by 2. So I'm looking at r cube which is equal to 486. Now in order to get the value of r you need to take this cube root of r. So that is equal to indeed equal to 7.86 centimeter. Correct to uh, two decimal places as it mentions over here. Okay, now, so that was part one, fairly simple. Let's do part two, which is that you're asked to calculate the total surface area of the solid. Okay, now, something that I always tell my students regarding total surface area is that don't just jump to the calculations right away, okay? So take a minute and imagine like you're holding this object in your hand, okay? So when I'm holding this object in my hand, how many unique surfaces or how many faces are there that I could touch or feel, okay? So if I if I imagine holding this object in my hand, so there's the top part that I can touch, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is, I'm gonna highlight them with different colors, okay? So here's the top uh, circle of the cylinder, all right? So that's one. We'll come to the calculations later. Then there is this curved surface area of the cylinder, okay? Then, there is this, um, what should I call this? So not exactly a circle, but part of the circle that's left of the hemisphere because you have a cylinder on top of it, okay? So yeah. And then, uh, no, I've already used the color green, I've already used the color, what color is this? Yeah, I haven't used this, orange, okay. And then there's this uh, curved surface area of the hemisphere, okay? So altogether, there are four different surfaces that we can touch if we were holding this object in our hand. 
Okay, now we get to the calculations, all right? So I'm gonna do, it, do them over here so you know exactly what I'm talking about. So here's the green surface, okay? Now this green surface is nothing but the, is nothing but a circle with radius 4.5, all right? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna calculate its area, so pi into 4.5 squared, all right? Let's work this out, 4.5 squared is 20.25, yeah, my mental math is in that too, isn't that bad? So 20.25 pi, okay, yeah. So we'll put this on the side over here for now. And then we have uh, the one, the, the surface that I've highlighted in red. Okay, so let me just color code it. Yeah, let's use the color red for this. This is what, this is the curved surface area of a cylinder. And the way to calculate that is two pi r h. I'll write it over here, two pi r h. And the radius here is gonna be 4.5 and the height is 16, so two pi. 4.5 times 16. Now you may have noticed that I've kept my answer in terms of pi and there's a very good reason for that. And that is so that I can add all the numbers and then multiply it by pi towards the very end. Now there will come a point where I won't be able to keep my answer in terms of pi. Over there we will, well, we'll have no option but to, uh, we'll have no option but to write it down, correct to either three or four significant figures. Okay, now let's discuss the surface that I've highlighted in blue. So that is, what exactly? That is not a circle, that's like a larger circle of the hemisphere and from it we'll subtract the smaller circle of the cylinder, okay? So hopefully that makes sense. So pi into 7.86 square, why 7.86? Because that's what the radius of the hemisphere is, all right? We just did that in part one minus pi into 4.5 square since that's what the area of the cylinder the area of the that's what the radius of the cylinder is okay so let's get to work pi bracket 7.86 squared minus pi bracket 4.5 square right take your time there's no need to rush here 130.469 okay i'm not estimating them immediately because that will do towards the end Okay, then we come to the final surface, which I've highlighted in, what color is this, orange? Yeah, okay, so I don't have orange over here, so let's just go with purple, okay. So this is nothing but the curved surface area of the hemisphere, which by the way, you can see that the surface area of a sphere is four pi r squared. That means the total surface area of a hemisphere is gonna be equal to two pi r squared, and the radius again is gonna be seven point eight six square all right so let's work this out two times pi bracket seven point eight six bracket close square so that gives us three hundred and eighty eight point one seven two okay so let's sum them up let's switch to a neutral color i think i'm going to go with uh, black yeah so here's what i'm doing in my calculator right twenty point two five times pi plus one forty four pi plus one thirty point four six nine plus 388.17. Okay, so this gives me 1034.645, all right? And it continues. And remember that the unit here will be centimeters squared. Why? Because we're working with, we're dealing with surface area. You don't actually have to worry about the unit because that you can see here is already given, okay? It's already given to you a centimeter squared here. Okay, so basically this, doesn't really qualify for a final answer because we have a standard rule that we need to round this off correct to three significant figures. So when you do that, so this is between 1030 and 1040. So since it's 1034 point something, that means it's closer to 1030. So I'm gonna lock this at 1030 centimeter square. So this right here has is my final answer. So like I said, this was not exactly, um, I think on a scale of one to 10, I'll probably give it like a seven on 10, 10 being the most difficult, one being the easiest, okay? Let me know what you guys think of this question in the comment section. And uh, that's all for this video. Let me know what other topics you guys want me to make videos on and feel free to send me uh, past paper questions that you guys are getting stuck in on my Instagram. You can always reach out to me on my Instagram. So that's all for today. See you guys in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.